Hey guys, welcome to Rotorite. I'm Bubby FPV, and today DJI reached out to us because they wanted an awesome one take with their new drone, the Avada, which is a Cinewoop style drone, and they wanted this one take to really show off the capabilities of this drone. So we're gonna have a lot of indoor shots, a lot of high speed shots, and then at the end, one really big wide Mavic style shot. But it's so one catch. They wanted it done with motion controller. So the motion controller is really awesome for beginners. It's really intuitive to use, but when we're trying to get really cool shots, and if you're a pro, the capabilities of what you can do with it are a little bit less than when we're using our normal two joystick style of radio. So it's gonna be a challenge, but today we're here to prove that the motion controller can get some really, really awesome shots. For a shoot like this, we have to prepare so much. So let's go ahead and rewind to the morning. Guys, this is Brandon. He is uh, Kazi FPV, but he's also the director of the shoot. So he, uh, you know, he flies FPV and he's really good at it. So he kind of knows the capabilities of the drone. Yeah, we worked together on the roller skate video. Yeah, the pretty fly skate shoot. The pretty so. fly skate. I directed that one too. So the day started really early. We had to wake up at 5:30 a.m. to drive to our location. The three-hour drive took us from California all the way to Mexico. Once we got there, we scouted out the location, and I was super excited for this one shot because the environment there was absolutely perfect. It took us about two hours to find the correct route for us to fly, taking into account video reception and also what would be a really cool visual for the audience. We went ahead and did a range test to see how far I could fly the Avada. And after flying it, I was really impressed with how many houses we were able to fly in between. It's a really good drone. Like once you see the shot that we're able to get, you'll be like, okay, Bubby, I see. After that, we walked the actors through the route that we were gonna fly and started practicing what they would be doing. We also got all of the areas prepped for the shoot so that it would look really cool. So at this point, all the actors knew what they were going to be doing and knew where they were gonna be. And we were just about to start our practice runs with the actual drone. And then this happened. It's, it's all the same thing. thing. Why what would you, you, what you guys do that? are doing right you now? You don't even live here. You can't do it. You can't do that here. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll you can and talk to And if you guys go and you post that stuff, you're definitely putting oh, yeah chip in our preservation. Yeah, we're, we're not we're trying, trying to, to do, have we're not trying to do that at all. This is just part of the deal, dude. Yeah. yeah Honestly. Sure. Seriously. Yeah. So some of the neighbors did not like the idea of their village being shown on YouTube in fear that their location would be given away. Have they come to you and tell you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they stopped us and then they're like, this is our place. And we don't want this going on. And they're like, we can have them talk to you. So, okay, we'd love to talk to them. Okay, I'm going to talk to them. He'll handle it. Got it. What? What do you mean? If we try to shoot it, they almost they almost got physical with me. Shut up! I swear. So we'll go behind them. We just won't go to that route. Okay. Well, they're not gonna know. They will. I told you I should have gone with you. Man. No, it would have been worse. Trust me. But yeah, I was the I'm the only one that lives here. That's the only thing that they want. They just. But they think that we're just gonna blow this place up. Yeah, that's not the, that's not the idea. They were they were ready to like snap. I mean, if they're if physical, we can have, There's more of us. Yeah, no, the physical part is not what I'm worried about. Is the fact that I also live here. Yeah, yeah. You know, again, if we're gonna spend a night here and those guys are gonna be there and they're gonna be drunk, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever they want. Like this is not the states. We're not protected by you yeah. know. Like you cannot call anybody here. Like call the cops here. They're gonna laugh at me. You know. Okay, well, we gotta work on plan B, so let's look at the other house and, and figure it yeah. out. Let's look at the other property. Yes. Let's, let's see what we can make happen. So we had an Airbnb for all of the actors to stay in. Since that was our only option left, we decided to do the one take there. But we couldn't get checked in till four, which meant we only had two hours to plan the shot, get the actors in their positions, and film it. We're gonna make this work somehow. We're gonna make it work and it's gonna be excellent. Yeah, we're gonna have to spend more time in the house, which is good. It's a bigger house, we'll be able to show up the inside a little bit more. Yeah. Instead of just coming straight out and diving right down, we create a little scene going on right here. So like. As soon as you come out here, you know, there's somebody on their bike going to go surf, right? And you're chasing them. So we had gotten the one take planned out. We had gotten all the actors to where they were going to be. And we had the perfect light for this awesome one take that we had. Go, 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 go. Yeah, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. 
and volleyball. Yes. Bike are coming to frame. Yep. There's a gym border coming to frame. It's not there. We missed him. No, we got, no, we got, we got. He's going for it. He's going for it. He's going for it. Yeah! He's on it, dude! Get down in there. Get down in there, Caleb. There you go. Sick. And then pull up for the establishing shot. There you go. Pull up. Oh! Pull up for the establishing shot. Oh, that was epic, dude! But at the end of the day, once we reviewed the footage, we didn't love the flight path that we took. So we planned for the next day to redo the entire flight path. So we woke up the next morning planning to shoot right at the break of dawn, but there was a lot of wind, like 40 mile per hour and higher wind, that the Avada just couldn't fly in. So we had to wait until like 2 p.m. to get started. After reviewing the footage from the night before, we realized we wanted to redo the entire intro to make it more entertaining and interesting for the audience. We wanted to have more indoor elements, so we had people cooking, people eating at the table, and we even had someone on an indoor board. But we wanted the very first shot of the video to be something that has never been done before. You're hugging the top of that. It's gonna freak out in a second. There we go. Open, open, open. And grab something. Now come out. We wanted to have our starting shot be from inside the fridge. Now this was a big task because the DJI Vada can't take off fast, so we had to fly the drone into the fridge, turn it around, close the fridge, and then start the shot from there. We had to have a light inside of the fridge because the sensors on the DJI Avada need light and the motion controller relies heavily on the downward facing sensors to keep its altitude. I was actually thinking that it might be easier to use the motion controller than this radio because the reason that the motion controller was so easy was because it has that self-leveling, it just stays there by itself, so. Could you put Horizon or self-leveling mode on this to get that same feel? I guess we'll we see. could, but I think the pin loop would still freak out a bit. Okay. But yeah, I wanted to see if it was even possible with a normal radio by trying to fly it inside the fridge. Whoa, so hard. <laughs> that is, <laughs> that is ridiculously hard. If you want to fly your drone in a fridge, use the uh, Vada. One very different thing about using the motion controller is that to get all of the different shot angles, you really have to use your whole body. When using a normal radio, you can fly the drone any angle, any direction you want, just using the two joysticks. To get all of those angles, I had to use a feature on the Avada called head tracking. Head tracking enables me to physically turn my head, and by doing so, the drone also turns to where I'm looking. So huge difference in how to control the drone, but after doing a couple takes with it, I started to get the hang of it. We divided the shot into two sections and practiced each shot separately, starting with the indoor shot. The practice went really well, we were able to nail the shot pretty much on the third take, so we got that part done really fast. After that, we practiced the outside shots, chasing Jake on the bike and Ross on the skimboard. We realized that the chances of a surfer getting to ride a wave right at the end of the shot was slim to none, so we removed all of the surfers from the water. Instead of chasing surfers at the end, we chased the skimboard and just rose up into the beautiful sunset to get a nice ending shot. By the time we were done with our practice, we had very little time left. We were fighting the sun, our actors had to go home to get with their families, so we had to get this shot in the next 30 minutes. That was, that was great. Yes! That was bomb. 
Buddy's shaking, dude. Buddy's shaking. Dude, oh. <laughs> it was a good shot, which is yeah. why I'm, I'm kind of excited about this. Oh. Everything was timed perfectly. Everything was awesome and we were really happy with the shot that we got. After we did the shot successfully with the drone, Brandon, the director, went ahead and got sound of all of the elements that were in the video so that he could make an awesome sound design track to go with the video. Because this thing screams and you can't get audio while this thing's going. All right, so Ruben, have you ever flown an FPV drone before? Uh, FPV drone, first okay. time in my life. This is your first Sweet. time flying, yeah. wow. So these are the goggles, and one thing I want you to know is these are, you can yeah, twist these for adjustment true. and you can move them in and out. Yep. So you're gonna go forward and to turn it, you're gonna tilt your hand this way or this way. You're kidding me. All right, so let me go ahead and take off for you. You point okay. that little thing where you're going, right? Yeah, yeah. Once, once you see the little the little circle in the middle of the screen, yep. that means it's ready. Yep, so you can go forward. Whee! Whee! <laughs> he just said we. Yo, he just said we. First time FPV. This is what I love about the Avada and the new drone is that Anyone can fly with a motion controller. It's one of those things where I think it's really easy for people to just immediately start flying. <laughs> that gave me vertigo, man. We finished the shoot. Let's go. It was super Yay! awesome. <laughs> we had a bunch of roadblocks, but we persevered because we had such an awesome team. Everyone here, thank you guys so much. I want to give a special shout out to Brandon and Ruben. He directed and Ruben helped produce it, so they did an absolutely awesome job. Guys, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah.